one third of it. All right, we're recording. This is a very special mini episode of yes. not never heard of it, but kind of <laughs> heard of it. So we call it coy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I was like, oh, so. yes, finally, it makes sense. Because Noi doesn't. <laughs> noi is like how someone from Baltimore would say no. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, More like Australian. Maybe Australian. Yeah. Yeah. Noi. <laughs> oh i know i um <laughs> anyway okay so if you've been watching any of our other episodes you'll know that when we research movies to watch we don't usually pick the first one that we see we go through a couple of them so what i've done is i've compiled a list of all the movies that we've researched oh uh, not the ones that we've said the title and said oh that's a good one only ones that we know the plot the synopsis too. yeah the synopsis so I, there's 23 movies and i put them oh my god yeah i know i know there's one Jeez. episode where we went through maybe 10 because we did like 70s movies and we were oh, yeah. like they didn't, none of them sounded good. yeah none of them sounded any good yeah. i think that was the jaws of satan one um which I fixed, by right the way. Right now, that's going to end up being one of the ones we pick, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so so since this is a, a, a mini episode, a smaller episode, what we're going to do is I have a random number generator window open, and I'm going to pick at random the number, and all the movies are numbered, and then whatever the movie is, we get we have to watch the first ten minutes, then we take a break, and we discuss what might happen in the movie. And then we watch the last 10 minutes and we see if we're right. <laughs> I would rephrase and say we see how wrong we definitely oh, oh, okay. are. Yeah, sorry. yeah, I think that's better. <laughs> so uh, would you like me to refresh everyone's memory on the synopsis when we do get a movie? Yes, absolutely. Like, should I be ready to reread it? Okay. Yes. okay. Uh, and there's no... Are we just, are we just going to random once and whatever we get, we have to watch? Yes, we have to watch it. Okay. Yes. Yep. Okay. okay. So, oh, no. And you guys can't see the list. I'm not showing the list, but... Please be well, Killdozer yeah. or whatever it was called. I, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. There's, some, there's someone here where I was like, oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so uh, we don't know. Joey could have picked ahead of time, and the list is only one movie long. Yeah, yeah. Like, he just picked oh. the one he wanted to watch. <laughs> oh, I picked number one. Weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, uh, for for the next uh, time we do this, um, I'll have like a list on screen so that people can see. Okay. We'll cross off the ones that we've watched, and then we'll add to it every every. Yeah. Maybe we'll do this once a week too, because it's only hopefully it'll only be a half hour. So hopefully, <laughs> okay. All right, Knowing so, us, yeah. All we'll right, see. so I'm gonna go to this random number generator. So I put in one to twenty three, and we're gonna generate. Okay. I wish we had some music. Drum roll, please. Seven. Lucky number seven. That was a sample. <laughs> number seven is Deep Space. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay. Do we have a year? Uh, Deep. Do space. we have a year? Uh, no. Oh, I'm so sorry. I found it. I think. Okay. Um, <laughs> I think it's an alien knockoff. If I remember. Uh, it oh, says yeah. Deep Space is a 1988 sci-fi horror film about a monster that terrorizes a city in the United States and the detective who must stop it. Oh. <laughs> Any town right. USA, so, baby. Uh, okay, so uh, isn't that basically just contamination? <laughs> yeah, a detective sure. and an alien. It's the same movie. Yeah, it is. It yeah. is. It's but there's not here. a colonel and a co-ed. And right. Uh, oh wait, wait. I have a longer description. If you guys want one, yeah, uh, please. Oh, yes. You know I love things okay. that are longer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, uh, a U.S. satellite transporting a secretly engineered creature crashes to Earth near oh, Los Angeles. Oh, that's the one I yep. remember. Because, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. because I made a comment of um, why would the government be keeping this weapon in a satellite if it's, yeah. or, if it's organic? <laughs> <I know. laughs> uh, and then it says police officers Ian McElmore and uh, Carla yes. Sandborn yes. are assigned to pursue the escaped mutant beast so along gonna, the way, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to already predict that they're going to fight the alien in a thrift shop. <laughs> and they're gonna get away on a moped or whatever that other song is. They're gonna go downtown in a mo on a moped. Yeah. Yeah. Um, 
based on the last <laughs> sentence of this description, I feel like you guys are going to wish that we watched the whole movie because it says, Uh-oh. Psychic Lady Elaine Wentworth, played by Julie Newmar, ah, also what? lends them a hand before Macklemore and his chainsaw. Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's Macklemore just telling us the ending. Ch- yeah. He's going to do something with the, the chainsaw. chainsaw. That's my prediction. Yeah. He and his chainsaw <laughs> do battle with the beast in a fight to the finish. Oh, wow. That's a good place so, to end. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I hope the chainsaw battle happens in the first like, 10 oh, minutes. Oh, okay, so first of all, it. it's not it's not going to be as good as the chainsaw battle from Mandy. That's when the exactly guy pulls Mandy. out the long one and it just keeps going. <laughs> I literally can't think. When I saw the word chainsaw, that's what I pictured in my head. Yeah. <laughs> like, that movie has ruined regular chainsaws yeah, yeah. Like, forever. Whenever I go to Home Depot, I'm like, where's the one from Mandy? I need to cut down the tree <laughs> that's really like, far away. Really Do you guys have, like, a 12-foot chainsaw? Yeah. <laughs> There's, like, a special section. It's got the little flags. Three foot, six foot, 12 foot, 15 foot. Yeah. <laughs> You pull it, you just keep, like, pulling it out of, like, a big bay. Like, <laughs> like one of those big Ikea things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put Deep Space. Also, that title, I mean. I know. How but it doesn't even, it takes place in Los Angeles or something. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. So it's not Deep Space. It's, it's not, cl- yeah. Shallow, shallow Space. space there is. Yeah. <laughs> don't, hurt, don't hurt yourself when you jump into Shallow Space. <laughs> <laughs> when was this piece of shit made? 1988? <laughs> yes. <laughs> How dare you pass judgment on a movie we haven't That's seen true. yet? We kind of have. In a way. Kind of. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. In a sense. No, we've the... kind of heard of it. We haven't <laughs> kind of seen it. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the first 10 minutes of Deep Space. <laughs> I hope something happens in the first 10 minutes. Yeah, right? If it's anything like these other movies, nothing's going to happen in the first time. I minutes. know. Not our problem. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a our trans... viewer's problem. Look, the progressive trans world entertainment. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, I'm going to put a timer oh, yes. on because we'll forget when 10 minutes. We'll be so engrossed in the movie that we'll, we won't oh, remember. Yeah. <laughs> we'll all be asleep by 10 minutes. <laughs> The reason the episodes are the first and last 10 minutes is because we just take a nap in the middle of the movie and we have to edit it out. No, it's real time. I don't edit. I you guys no have editing. to watch us sleep. This sounds like a video game music. I was just going to say. It's like very 80s. It's like I'm playing like a sci-fi Zelda knockoff. Yeah. It's like the overworld music. Uh, it sounds like a ghost and go- a super ghost and... Super ghouls and ghosts, ghosts and ghouls, yeah. goblins ghosts. and ghosts. <laughs> Go Anyone, Su- super, ghosts. Uh, super natural. That's <laughs> yeah. Super ghouls and ghosts. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghosts and goblins. Is the okay. Yes, Bo Svensson. Oh, dance favorite actor. As Robertson, he doesn't even have a first name no. or a last name. I guess. He's got to be a, mil- a real military man. Yeah. Bruce Stubblefield. Bruce Stubblefield. That's a fake name. It's the first ten minutes. Oldfield. Oldfield. How many fields are there? Is the first ten minutes just gonna be credit? Yes. Because I'm gonna lose my mind. It's a really slow title crawl in the year 1988. Uh, yeah. Or are we watching the last ten minutes first? Uh, we're already two minutes in, so. Oh no. God. Maybe in future episodes we should skip the intro credits. And no, then start this has got to be part of it. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> All right, getting right into it, huh? Yes. Three minutes later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the movie really moves quick. The first scene is in the first, first scene starts 15 minutes in. It really gets to the point. <laughs> oh, no, now it's just out of space for four minutes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is the slowest pan I've ever seen. I mean, space. Uh, 2001: A Space Odyssey is faster than this. Oh God! <laughs> this is the same set for contamination. <laughs> uh, Sinjinor is right there. Uh, wrong movie. Uh, sorry, <laughs> uh, Deep Space Guy is over there. Damn! Damn! That's it. 
That's wow. it. We're out of ink. Wow. We're at stage now. Total loss of direction. Uh -oh. I knew this would happen. This thing wasn't made to stand the duration. I don't think that really matters right now. Well, it will when the big boys find out. I'm Not a the big, big boy. boy. Just how are they gonna find out? <laughs> he pulls up his pampers. <laughs> we must all control the centaur one. They're telling me it's gonna crash. Centaur one. He's like, oh, I'm a big boy now. Yeah, I think it's me. I'm the big boy. Have you any idea where? <laughs> no. Well, I We just skipped right over Centaur Juan. I know, we gotta give that some time. <laughs> oh, Centaur you know, Juan. You know Don Quixote, Centaur Juan? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Robin Hood and Pequeño Juan. Uh -huh. No, Robin Hood and Centaur Juan. <laughs> That, now that movie I watched. Uh, he was a character cut from the first Mortal Kombat. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to play a centaur one. The main move is that he just kicks you. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what he was named in the Spanish translation. Oh, ah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Everybody just had like a Hispanic name. It was like Ninja yeah. Diego. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say cage in Spanish? Oh, God. <laughs> uh, you took two years. Yeah, like, they don't like cage. Yamada, here, no, me. No. They don't teach you cage. No. Yes, ma'am. May I speak to you? Sorry, he's not here right now. Can I take a message? Do you believe any of that shit? <laughs> That's the funny thing is that sounds like it could have come from the movie. <laughs> yeah. Because of the way that guy's voice sounded. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we only got five minutes left. Better hurry it up. I We're know. We're not going to know anything about anything. No. Oh, this guy. Um, hey. Bo Svensson. <laughs> is that him? Is that his name? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, uh, famous character actor. Um, oh god, he always plays a cop or a military guy. Um, Is it Charles Napier? Mm, no. Are you thinking Jack Napier? Uh, the real no, no, name of I the oh, it. the real name of uh, the Joker from the first Batman movie. Ah uh, yes, that's exactly what I was yeah, thinking. Right. No, no, sorry. For sure. <laughs> no, Charles Napier is the name of the actor. He's from Rambo yes. Part Two. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, yeah. It's Jack and Napier's Fred brother. Armisen. <laughs> Fred Armisen is his Ferrisito character. <laughs> yeah. Hold it, please. It does look like Fred Armisen. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> So calm and collected. Whoa! He didn't even get in the car. He was driving just from the window. They had to cut because he didn't make it in the window. Yeah. yeah. It's like in Robocop. Coming back around. It's like in Robocop. Whenever he's driving, he doesn't have pants on because he couldn't fit in yeah. the car. Oh, headshot. Oh. Whoa! Whoa! We should just watch this whole movie. <laughs> I like how they're just like, oh, explosion. Yeah, whatever. The mayor's out my ass. He's got my balls in a vice. You destroyed half the city last night. And you killed the two suspects. We'll never find the first baby mio. now. <laughs> 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 oh, um, that, that his partner is somebody, too. Is that the dad from Sister Sister? Is it? Yeah, look it up. Kill for a bag of Halloween shit. Um, we were assured nothing like this could I possibly don't happen. Think so? He's but a dad in some you sitcom. You know we've been developing something in outer space, a new form of biological warfare. It's not germs. Why would they be developing it in outer countries. space? It's colder up there. What? Alive, but oh. Why the hell are you it's telling true. me what I already know? We're developing a new secret weapon on behalf of the United States government. Your 
bus, uh -huh. General Randolph. And it was supposed to stay in outer space, Forsyth, not come crashing down into God knows what. Get out of here, We're you goddamn jackass. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that guy was on Barney that's Miller. Awesome. Oh, maybe that's where uh, I know him from. Yeah. We are of the opinion that if it does survive the crash, we'll be I able think to that's him. I can't tell. They don't, none of these people in their picture on IMDb look like what they look like in this movie, so. It's hard to say that I'm looking up the right person, but. Yeah. Anyway, what's happening? Well, how's it look? Oh, spiffy. Very spiffy. This guy looks like Morris Day, the bad guy from uh, Purple Rain. <laughs> oh, shit. Not this guy, but the other guy. His partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Keep it cool, partner. Keep it cool. Yeah, Ron Glass. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's definitely that guy. Sharp as glass. Like you two have been having an interesting evening. What happened here? Self defense. Tell me about it. Self defense in the giant explosion. Why is he wearing like a blazer over an unbuttoned flannel? <laughs> That's his look. Quite possibly. Go on. Well, when they came outside, the suspects drew their weapons and opened Man, fire. Man, the underbite on this guy. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see this in written format. I'd like to see this in out. photographic format. If you could Why, draw sure, some yeah. pictures or. <laughs> I'd Otherwise, like to see this okay? in uh, interpretive dance. Actually, you know yeah, yeah, we're fine, Kevin. Good. Kevin? <laughs> Hi. I'm on a first name basis. Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Good boss of materials. Good boss of materials. <laughs> I was just going to say. <laughs> Suppose you'd be wanting my gun and my badge. That's just one of my guns. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Hand him over. And your hands, I too. Take See you too in a couple of hours. Both of their guns at the crime scene. I, can't. I don't think that's how that works. I can't sleep without Bessie. Without Bessie? Is that his gun? Hey, Macklemore. I think so. Yeah. Some weird lady call for you. Sorry. Too. We've reached the 10 minute mark. No! Oh, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. So we have I literally. I keep watching. This. We have no, <laughs> no idea. We have no information. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So okay, here's my okay. reread the we plot. To... Reread the, the well, plot. The, the summary. Okay. 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 Well, so the alien <clears throat> thing lands from the satellite near LA, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Correct. And then there's a chainsaw fight. <laughs> <laughs> At some point. Yes. At some point. Let me. Okay. So I'm going to say in the last <clears throat> ten minutes that his partner is already dead. That's what I was gonna say. Right, his his partner's already dead. The one of the scientists that we just saw with the glasses talking to like the general guy, he'll be in mm -hmm. that last scene telling Macklemore what to do, <laughs> like uh, via radio or uh, maybe this is does it take place in space? So they like go to space? No, no, no. It no stays way. in L.A. It stays in L.A. I wish. What happens yeah, in L.A. stays in L.A. Stays in L.A. <laughs> what happens in outer space? <laughs> Um, Not all the time. Well, Sometimes it comes back. I know. As this movie is evidence of. Um, do you want me to reread this thing to you? Yeah, reread the plot. Yeah. Okay. A U.S. satellite transporting a secretly engineered creature crashes to Earth near Los Angeles. Police officers Ian McElmore and Carla Sandborn, who we haven't met yet, nope. are assigned to pursue the escaped mutant beast. Along the way, they clash with their superior, Captain Robertson, played by Bo Svensson. Kevin. And the scientists <laughs> behind the project, Kevin Robinson. Yes. Um, psychic lady Elaine Wentworth, Julie Newmar, also lends them a hand before Macklemore and his chainsaw do battle with the beast in a fight to the finish. Okay, so I'm also going to say that the psychic dies as well. She'll either be dead or she dies in the last 10 minutes. My, I think that she and Macklemore are together at the end. Oh. Because no, none of these movies ever put like a woman in distress in a position with a detective where they don't have sex. That's true. <laughs> That's true. But what about Carla? What's her name? Did yeah, you... his partner. Yeah, on the case. Carla Sanborn, maybe. Yeah. Sanborn, maybe. But maybe it's like they're two. They're like brother and sister because they're oh, partners. Oh yeah, they get you along, know? but they and don't. And Julie, Julie Newmar was like sensually staring off into outer space. That's true. Yeah, was she in the, the first one? scene that yeah. she was in? So. Yeah. She was calling to talk to the to yeah. more, right? Yeah. So maybe they've like worked together on a past case. No. Oh, like she's maybe she's just psychic, so she knows who she has to talk to. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, then why doesn't she know she just has to leave town? 
<laughs> no, because she has to help stop the That's alien. True. That's true. Duh. Yeah. Okay. May- do you think that she can talk to the alien? Oh my <gasps> god, that would be a great twist. Oh that it t- yes. It, it communicates <laughs> telepathically, and she's the only yeah. one who knows. Okay. This is what that movie Arrival is based on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, do we think that the chainsaw battle happens in the last 10 minutes? It has to. Or do you think we're going to miss it? He has to kill it. The, the, the ending has to be him killing it. Yes, and if there's anything that we know about right. 80s movies, that the the climax is the end of the movie. Yeah, it ends very yeah. There's no the falling action. Yeah. <laughs> and no. there's no resolution. No denouement. Or, yeah. Yeah, there's no denouement. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Okay, here we All go. Right. The last. Well, you have to find the last ten minutes of movie, not just the last ten minutes with the credits, right? Because uh, yeah, like, if the credits are like five minutes. Okay, yeah. so okay, so okay, so I'll yeah, see if you can. Yeah. Okay. So find where the credits start, and uh, then all right, about go twenty-four minutes. minutes. So we're gonna start at fourteen. Bum, 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 bum. Let's uh, let's be a little generous here. Yes. I I hope they show the alien. Oh my god, what if they didn't? He's already He's dead. He's wearing the same outfit. <laughs> See, she's alive. Okay. Wait, just Julie Newmore? I thought she looked, she was older. Oh, wait, maybe that was that's her. Carla no, Soundgarden? That's Soundgarden? Soundgarden? <laughs> <laughs> or whatever her name was. No, it's Carla Savage Garden. <laughs> <laughs> she's got a cherry cola in her hand. <laughs> <laughs> um, Carla Sanborn. Sanborn. Sandworm. Sandworm. Carla Sandworm. Carla Sandworm. <laughs> God, if there's one thing 80s movies like, it's it's tension without tension. Mm-hmm. I know. Like, I fear, feel no fear for this character. Oh, whoa. Well, it's because oh, doves. Doves oh, cry. Oh, doves. <laughs> so many <laughs> Prince references. Get, get off. Get off. Those are just white, uh, me, white uh, pigeons. Officer Hansen, yeah. Uh, yeah, right? Did this thing, in fact, go any faster? Not without endangering civilians, sir. <laughs> Why did he say that like William Shatner? And danger of Get this go <laughs> yes, any faster. <laughs> no, you're right. That was the, that was, that's Carlos Sand, okay. Savage Garden. Okay. Carlos Savage Garden. Um, the alien looks fucking crazy, so I hope they show it. I just saw a picture of it online. <laughs> oh, you spoiled it for yourself. I'm sorry. We're spoiling this whole movie. You know what? Honestly, we're probably seeing the best parts of this movie. Whoa! Yeah. Is that just a face? It's, yeah. <laughs> My God. The makeup work is too phased by it. <gasps> <gasps> there it is! Hey, how's it going? <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Food! All right! Oh! Oh! That's the signal. What is she? She has a jar of glue. What is that? I know. What oh, the it, hell? It's probably like his goo. Goo. Uh. Oh, look at this thing. Yes. Yes. This is so much better than that scene in Aliens when she has the robot and she's like, get away from oh, her, yeah. you bitch. This is better yeah. than that. <laughs> well, look, it's got tentacles. I love Holy the sound effects. Shit. Squidward tentacles over here. Squidward tennis balls. Squidward tortellini. May I take your hat? (laughs) Yeah. More like may I take your head, sir? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Oh, the samurai sword. Oh, my knife. (laughs) Imagine he pulls out the chainsaw (laughs) from his back. Oh, spitting up Sprite. Gross. Ew. Oh, spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, his face is like ripping it's, off. It's yeah. acid. Gross. I was not expecting it's that. It's hydrogen peroxide. <laughs> that just burns your face. Oh. I wish it shot. That's how she dies. <laughs> <laughs> what a tw- what a twist. <laughs> <laughs> Savage car, you've got to be more careful. You can't just up on me. Hanson, take the left side. Lavender. Oh my God. What? What the? F- <laughs> yeah, get the thirty odd six. <laughs> God. This thing will take down a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> the other guy pulls like a rocket launcher out of the trunk. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a maze. They're the Home Depot. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Ikea joke I made earlier. Yeah. It's come true. He's going to get the chainsaw. Hello? Hello? <laughs> Applause. <laughs> Hello? 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 Hi. Is there anybody <laughs> in here? Anybody in here? Imagine that. You remember that little creature we saw at Jerry's house? Jerry Seinfeld. Wait, is Jerry the psychic? Oh, maybe. No. Uh, I don't think so. See me. No, Elaine Wentworth is the psychic. Well, like Elaine Dennis. I was gonna say. Oh my goddamn head! Ah. Sound effects. It sounds like nunchucks. Oh, they got him. I know it does. <laughs> Wait, so if this lady is his detective partner, why is she? Oh, never. I was gonna say why is she dressed like that, but he's wearing a flannel. So yeah. What is she carrying? Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, you know what she's carrying? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, what? No, like throw that... it at the alien! <laughs> How did it not break? <laughs> throw the fucking jar! Get out of here, you nom, fucking nom, nom, flies. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ew. Backdraft. There it is. <gasps> yeah. Please tell me she like tosses that. Can <laughs> he grabs the blade? <laughs> oh. Oh, oh shit. Oh, darn, I'm such a clumsy woman. <laughs> Butterfingers. Ah, <laughs> uh, gross. No, no, no. <laughs> Sounds like a husky. <laughs> <laughs> We're joined by a very special guest, the alien from Two <laughs> Keep the change, you filthy alien. <laughs> We're having a two for one special on hoses. <laughs> Wait, if the chainsaw didn't work, she really thinks that gun is gonna work? Wait, why does she just dump all her bullets out? <laughs> <laughs> she, she went to play Russian roulette. He Where'd just he get literally that? grabbed her. Oh, that's the other guy. Oh, he's just. Uh, he couldn't do it one hand. He tried. Ah, oh. it like it like ricocheted back and hit him in the forehead. Yeah. <laughs> what was that shot of her going like? Should I? Sh I don't. Know, maybe I should. Uh, <laughs> I know. Uh, no. But there was no editor. Nobody told him to cut that part out. Yeah. <laughs> this is what you would call cutting room floor movie. It's just clips from other movies. Yeah. Yeah, this'll work. The automated chainsaw didn't work, but this... Oh, here we go. This axe is gonna... Oh! oh. oh. oh Kevin! A crowbar? Really? I think it just moseys on up next to me. <laughs> oh. Tasty pick, bonehead. He kills the other guy accidentally. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's the chainsaw from Mandy and he just can't help it. The guy's too close. <laughs> oh. 
Wait, why is the blood red now? Yeah, it was white before. Yeah. Don't worry about it. This is white blood cells. <laughs> yeah. He had too many of them. Mm -hmm. And now I'll take this home and mount it on the wall. <laughs> oh, a bucket of acid. Perfect. How convenient. Oh, no, it's just an empty bucket. Right. Oh, it's just empty. <gasps> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who wrote that was like, I've written the greatest line. <laughs> he, and the script is a little like a lip print because he kissed it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and like tear tracks on the page. <laughs> and tire tracks because he got run over. <laughs> <laughs> and someone stole the idea and put their name on it. <laughs> it, it changed his name from New Field to Old Field. Yeah. <laughs> Just like Jay Gats. Jake, I'm Gatsby. <laughs> the end. Uh, I feel like we watched the whole movie. Yeah, yeah. Can I don't I feel like that? I missed anything. No. No. But but how right were we in saying that the climax was the end of the movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the thing dies, it's just that's it. Yeah. Movie's over. I know. Um, you know, you know what movie that's good that famously does that is Die Hard. Like the climax of the movie is the like the end of the movie. They yeah. do a, a thing where he so after Hans Gruber falls out the window, they're like, you know, him and his wife are like reconciling, and then they go outside, and then the one guy they thought was dead is alive, and then Carl yeah. Winslow kills him. But the, it goes like that, and then it ends really high, and then it just ends. But hmm. I wonder if that contributed to a lot. I know Die Hard came out later in the eighties, but like. If that contributed Why to a lot of what we just see. do that? Yeah, like where yeah. action movies are just kind of like, there's no... Because they're like, you don't care about these characters to begin with. Like, yeah. Yeah. I think it's also just, that's like the easiest part to write. Sure. Is the, everything leading up to in the climax, like it's hard to write that, that extra stuff that happens after. Yeah, they mm -hmm. do that in the Fast and Furious but... movies where they try to like have like an ending that like, where they're like normal again. They're all like, you know, hanging out at the barbecue and you're like, none of this yeah. rings true. Like... <laughs> These people all hate each other in real life. I know. <laughs> they can't stand each other. There's so few shots of them all together in the same yeah. scene. They've actually never met. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it, everybody. Ooh. Deep Space, Deep 1988. Space. I kind of wish we didn't know that there was going to be a chainsaw fight. Although, I know. Also, I wouldn't really call it a fight. No, it was lopsided. He just... He just yeah, that was the, I, I that's wish assault, the alien brother. had had a chainsaw. Well, yeah, that would have been Monique Le Bleu. <clears throat> so, uh, what are the um, comments on this piece of junk? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, we, we still have um, about a minute left of credits. Do you really want to watch that? No. <laughs> no. Why are you? Why is that even a question? Just leave the music playing. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. yeah. But then the next moon is going to play... Oh, auto oh, plays off. True. Auto plays off. Oh, oh. Okay. oh thank God. Uh, Woo! Woo! Okay. Dodge the bullet. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, so CJ God, CJ one year ago said, Ron Glass, I wonder how many movies he was in <laughs> that were never released or just slip under the radar. I miss Barney Miller. <laughs> All right. Uh, I've been wondering the same thing. <laughs> okay, so so Space Without Distance uh, brings up a really good point eight months ago. And since we didn't watch it, the movie, we didn't know this, but he says, I went my whole life without attempting bagpipe seduction. What a fool I've been. <laughs> no! What? We missed the best part of the movie! <laughs> uh, I just... Uh, okay, so George Spotswood one year ago said, in the they don't make them, make them like this anymore category. This little low budgeter is a classic masterpiece. Thank you for the excellent uppy. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> okay, Nick, eight months ago, said, well, I watched it till my higher brain function stopped and my eye, my eyes started bleeding. Then I started drooling, D-R-E-W-L-I-N-G. A fart, a fart brought me out of this stupor, and I realized the movie was over. Love sub- sci-fi, but this one was Limburg cheese bad. <laughs> Dan Wheeler that? three months ago said, "I like, I like in how, reply or in, is no in reply, yeah in reply I said okay, I, reply. I like how you started drooling and what brought you out of your stupor. Also that it was as bad as Limburger <laughs> cheese, which actually tastes good when you get over the smell. Thanks, Dan. I'm gonna like that comment." Yet You're a, welcome. <laughs> and then, <laughs> in response to Dan Wheeler's comment, yet a star Chancy three months ago said, "I laughed till oh I cried God. over Nico's comments. I hope he recovered." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he went to the hospital for that. It was real bad. R.I.P. Nick. <laughs> um, Martha Gillespie. Oh. Martha Gillespie one year ago said, "Words to echo throughout history: colon." The big brown thing is gone. (laughs) (laughs) Okay, we We missed a lot. We missed not watching. We missed missed a good one. We missed a lot. We really did. Oh my god! Um, uh, So this guy, uh, fungi from Ugoth, one year ago said the good old boys, um, in reference to the the fact that the the main character was in Blues Brothers, and they play like a southern band who the Blues Brothers pretend to be in order to play at a show. That's who I, where I know him from. That's like the most distinctive. Uh, mm. I was like, where is uh-huh. that guy from? Oh, man. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to put that away. Oh. There we go. Wait, what about the good old boys? Oh, no, no. That, I'm just saying that reminded me of who oh, that, oh. that guy played in another movie. Oh, got yeah. it. Oh, um, boy. Okay, just a, a quick thing about the bagpipe seduction. Yeah. Um, I was talking to dad about whatever episode where they was like where they were having dinner and the guy's like oh put on whatever this song is and we were like what a stupid specific song do you guys remember it was like so and so's bolero or whatever yeah was that oh yeah yeah was that the one okay, um so, was that so, Sinjinor? when he's eating dinner so. with the girl and he's like coming on to her like yeah. way too hard yeah maybe yeah um so i was talking to dad about it and he's like I can't believe none of you guys know what that is. And I was like, yeah, I, I've never heard of that before. And he goes, what do they teach you in school? And I was like, what do you mean? And he goes, oh, that's like a classic like song that people put on to have sex. I'm like, you think they teach us that in school? <laughs> <laughs> and here's the reproductive system. And here's, and here's Bolero, Bolero whatever. Oh my <laughs> whatever it's God. called. I was like, it's one thing to expect us to know that from, it's like pop culture, but why sure. did you say, what do they teach you in school? What, what's it called? Bolero? It's Somebody is Bolero. I can't remember what the what the composer's name is. Uh, can, how do you spell Bolero? B-O-L-E-R-O. Mm-hmm. B-O-L-E-R-O, yeah. Something with a P. Oh, no, Ravel. Oh, right here. Right there. Conducts I think. the Wiener Philharmonic. <laughs> this is 17 minutes long, so we'll just listen to the first part of that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm so glad I'm learning something that I should have learned in school. <laughs> I'm oh kind God, of... That's so dark in my room. Shadow. I just realized. That man over here. <laughs> I know. This, this guy's like, actually, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, eh. go, go. No, no. We'll, we'll, on the next one, when we when we come back around, we'll get it. <laughs> you never stop oh, learning. I'm kind of heard of it. Looks like this guy's getting a little pleasure out of this. <laughs> Ten minutes in, he's like, "Ugh, oh, I'm spent." 
Okay, can we get to the good part? Yeah, nobody I know. nobody makes love to this. Let's watch the first two <laughs> no. minutes and the last two minutes of this song. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, it's famous from the movie Ten. Oh, so with Bo Derek. Yeah, with Bo Derek. <laughs> yeah, it's like seven. <laughs> it's except it's the Ten Commandments. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! It's six minutes in. And it's still ramping up. What about this is sexy time music? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Barry White. Hey, how's it going, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Enough of this. All right, that's enough that's of that. Enough, that. I, just, I just had to tell you guys that. I, I totally forgot, and then the bagpipe thing reminded me, so thanks, Dad, <laughs> for <laughs> providing us with some content. <laughs> well, I like this mini format. Yeah. I know. This is good. Um, I guess that's it. Oh, where, do we do we start ranking these, or is that? Uh, well, I would have to say this is number one. I would, yeah, I would yeah, agree. I would agree. Sure. Of all the of all the one movies we've seen, this is the best. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, I think I we should think... keep a separate ranking. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. So for the next episode, because I kept the the whatever the yeah. regular the, the rank windows up. the same. All the uh, yeah right. All the space here. All right. Um, yeah. I think oh. we should rank them. Uh, we got to come up with a t-shirt idea. Oh. Oh, God. Or is that too, is that not enough? Something with bagpipes? A bagpipe cross with a Something chainsaw? With <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And since this is a mini episode, do we have to make like a baby onesie? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. tiny shirts. Yeah. <laughs> Kids shirts only on the mini episodes. Yeah. <laughs> you can do like um, a hat or something. Yeah, that's true. We could do a hat with like a chainsaw yeah. or, a bag or something like that. Can you do socks with just chainsaws and bagpipes? Yeah, yes. yes. Yeah, then we could do socks, yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay, so for these episodes, we'll do socks. There you and go. for yeah. full episodes, we'll do t-shirts. I think, I think chainsaws and bagpipes is perfect, especially yeah. because we don't know what the bagpipe thing is. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah, we have no idea. Um, so, uh, speaking of shirts, um, I'm going to put up our shoe shirt. Only the best shirt. The best shirt. Oh my god. Our Beans a Million shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Beans a Million. Um, you can get the shirt on our website, notyourplatypus.com. And I'll put a link uh, in the description of the, of the video. But um, nobody's bought this one. But if they do, I'll Have donate. Have other people bought the other ones? Yeah, I've sold some other shirts. Yeah. I don't know if they've, because oh, of, okay. if they've watched the podcast, but I've definitely sold some shirts. Okay. Yeah. Um, wow. So if anybody buys this shirt, I'll donate the proceeds to our friend Mark, um, <laughs> our brother-in-law Mark, so that he can yes. uh, get his medicine because COVID really did a number on him. So he's mm -hmm. alive. Don't act like I'm yeah. not acting like he's, he's dead. He's, he's, he's over there. He's very much alive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's in the other room. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll donate all the proceeds yeah. so he can get his medicine so he can get better. So we're pulling yeah. for you, Mark. And cameo Yay. by June right there Thanks. in the background. I know. <laughs> June. JB. She doesn't even care. Watch this. You want to go outside? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> now she looks so betrayed. I know. Yeah. All right. So let's all go outside. <laughs> <laughs> but wear your mask. Yeah, don't wear, get COVID. Yeah, wear your mask. Please don't get sick. It's very serious. <laughs> yeah. All right, to all of our six Dan, you're really in the dark right I now. I know. I don't know what happened. I guess it got so dark over here. I also don't have, like, good lighting. I, my only light in this room is in the other corner of the room, so even if I turn it on, it's... Forget it. It's too late. Don't you forget it. Oh, we got... Somebody's dancing. Look at that. Uh -oh. She's wriggling. Uh-oh. <laughs> she heard you playing Ravel's Bolero, and she got excited. Yeah. <laughs> That's her favorite song. <laughs> She just she just laid on her back and opened her legs wide. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, this June's is a big Bo Derek fan. This is perfect. We're coming up right on the forty five minute mark. That should be our our cut Beautiful. off. Beautiful. Nice. Half an episode. All right. Until next yes. time. All when right. on kind of heard of it, our second mm -hmm. podcast. <laughs> oh God! Nobody listens to the first one. I know. <laughs> just more content not Bye. to listen to. 
Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. 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 Bye.